You know what? I love Notion, and sometimes they just ship little itty bitty updates that I'm a big fan of. However, uh, I don't like the fact that they just say that it's going to be a thing and only do it on their Twitter for some reason. So there's a couple different updates that Notion has dropped that are great quality of life updates, but you'd never know about it unless you were on Twitter. Now, I am pretty active on Twitter as of recent. I've been trying to repost all these updates and all these different things, but I'm also relaunching my Productive Brew newsletter. It's gonna be rebranded as more of something where you come to it, I give a short little bit of productivity advice at the beginning. I actually break down and show you some of these very small quality of life updates that Lord knows I really need in these products because one of these I've uh, asked for for a year, but hey, it's better late than never. So if you want to subscribe to this newsletter and follow me on Twitter, make sure to check out the links down below, riseproductive.com slash newsletter. That being said, let's dive right into it. So first and foremost, as many of you are familiar, we've had the ability to have tabs for a while inside of Notion. You can either click on this or press command T in order to open up a new tab. Now. What was really annoying prior is uh, you couldn't drag it. Like, let's pretend like I'm moving this mouse and nothing's happening, right? Yeah, guess what? It actually works now. I can move tabs back and forth. I can actually, oh, you know what? I'm gonna open up another tab. Oh, I went that over here. Yeah, that's the most basic thing I've ever seen in my life, yet somehow it took them 12 months-ish to bring out. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. But. but. That's number one on the list. Now, number two on the list is pretty cool. Inside of any images now, you can actually do two different things. So I'm gonna show it in a two-part emphasis here. So first and foremost, we can press crop image, and it actually allows you to crop this. And well, you can do it in, you know, free form right here, and then press save to make it smaller. So let's pretend like we're just trying to get a little itty bit of this. Press save. All right, cool, it cropped and you can see the differences between the images. But what if I wanted to crop the image and not only do that, but rather than it being freeform, I change the sizing. So I can press circle, square, five by four, different aspect ratios, right? Whether it be horizontal or vertical. All of these different options are really great, to be honest. I'm, I love having a locked in aspect ratio because then it's better for repurposing the content. So if I really wanted to make sure it fit everything that mattered, I could maybe just try to grab my logo to shift that off to somebody real quick. So if I press save, you'll notice that now I got a cute little logo of me. Look at that. The number three on this list is actually pretty interesting. If I wanted to leave a comment here and just spam this page with comment after comment, You'll notice that obviously the page gets a little bit cluttered and there's a side view for comments. But what they recently did inside of the interface here is they added a filter option that is beyond just filtering by status. Obviously, if one of these were to be resolved, I can then filter to what was actually resolved. So which is that other one? But say I were to add more comments, and I wanted to clear what was there for not me, I could filter it by a different person. Now, if I click on this, it's obviously going to show me, but I'm going to switch Notion accounts really quick and show you how you can filter it by person. So you can see right here, there's some comments, but if I leave another one that says, don't worry, bud, you're good on my other account, then you'll see within here that there is the option to click on filter and choose to filter by anyone, which is everyone that's commented on it. Then you have the ability to filter it by, for example, this admin account, and you have the ability to filter it by just the other account that I have. All of these three great updates, uh, nobody brought up pretty much on all the videos that they're making. Nobody brought it up except for on Twitter, which is like a great place to go find it, but also in the same sense, like, Twitter is kind of uh, all over the place. So if you wanna follow me on Twitter, definitely do that. But if you wanna get updates like this more consistently in your email inbox, Mondays, The Productive Brew, make sure to subscribe to it at riseproductive.com slash newsletter. Thank you so much for watching this video and check out this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.